Hi guys, this is Raquel with Paints and Glitter, and today I am coming to you with a very mini, mini album. <laughs> it is this cutie that's right here that I'm just about to finish off. I just announced this video over on my Instagram, so I'm hoping that some of you will join me. I wanted to come along and share this with you guys so that you can see, and I'm going to zoom in a moment, uh, the reason, oopsie, sorry about that. The reason I'm even sharing it is so that I can celebrate with you guys my $3,000, $3,000, what am I saying? My 3,000 subscribers. What do I have on my mind? <laughs> so I am going to quickly look over on my computer so that I can see the chat and that way I can join in. So hello, hello. Thank you for the thumbs up. Um, I'm going to look at my video here. If you could bear with me just one moment, it does take a minute to show up. And that way I can join in on the chat. So little by little, I start learning how to do these things. Okay. All right. So, okay. So I see that there's someone here with me and I appreciate you being here with me. This is going to be for my 3000 uh three I keep saying $3000. I don't know why. Hi Bonnie. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. This is going to be for my 3000 subscriber giveaway. I couldn't get that out of my mouth. I don't know why. So I am nearing that uh, that number and I'm getting there and I'm hoping that some of you will help me out so that I can reach the 3000 subscriber mark and to do so I just want to say thank you of course uh, I want to give back to those of you who do watch my videos who do subscribe and who are helping me out because if it weren't for you tuning in to watch the videos there would be no reason for me to make them of course uh, so here's what I'm working on and here's what I'm using I am using here the designers choice dies from tonic studios these are uh, I'm not sure which number and I can't remember just off the top of my head but they're released every month if you've seen my channel before then you would know that I am a huge fan of tonic studios dies I absolutely love the quality everything about them and the company is phenomenal I think also and um, I also have used for this video the laces and beautiful board pieces from Renee Bouquets. I do happen to be on her design team. So some of these uh, items on this little book are from Renee Bouquets. And so I will describe all of it. But I wanted to finish it off with um, a live video because I'm not entirely done. But you'll get a walkthrough of it, of course. So... Bonnie, I will have to ask, are you a subscriber of my channel? Because I see you on my chat here. Um, because if not, I'm, I'm hoping that there are more people trickle in and more people join me on this live. So, oh, wonderful, Bonnie. Okay, so then you'll be eligible to uh, enter to win. So what I'm going to try to do is to make it easy for the entries to work out, you know, there are a lot of challenges happening right now with different channels celebrating milestones. This mine is just one of the many. So I don't want to make it too elaborate or too difficult to enter. What I want to do is, of course, to reach the um, the 3,000 subscriber uh, goal. That is the goal of the giveaway, of course. But hi, hello, Terry. Thank you for joining us. And... So that's what I'm going to ask for is I'm going to ask for help with that so that once I reach that goal, then I can do my giveaway. Um, and how do people generally subscribe to a channel? It's because either they like the entertainment value or they like the items being presented. The majority of the items I present on my channel currently are items that I make with Tonic Studios dies, cards, mini albums, um, 
sometimes home decor pieces, mixed media, things like that. So if you've seen other videos of mine, then you would already know that. If not, if you're just jumping in and you're brand new to my channel, I do tutorials and I also do walkthroughs of different types of projects. My style is very much what you see here. Um, I, of course, I'm not entirely finished with this, but I do like to make items that are very delicate. Um, I guess you would call them girly. Uh, I like to keep things elegant when I can. I do like playful items as well though. So sometimes cutesy, um, I'll show you an example if you could bear with me. Um, I don't mind making items that are cutesy like this. This is something that I consider to be cutesy. So, oh thank you Terry. I consider that to be such such a sweet, sweet uh, gesture for you to let me know that because I'm not um, in a niche, if you will, of what everybody likes and I understand that, but that's what YouTube is for, is that you find what you do like and, oh, you like Gort, me too, Bonnie. I'm obsessed with these little girls. Now, I haven't used them in such a long time that I'm actually disappointed in myself, <laughs> but I... Um, yeah, I don't think I'll ever get tired of them. It's it's kind of funny how, you know how some people collect the house mouse stamps or um, they collect different brands. I don't know. I, I'm not too um, well versed. Oh, hi, Joanne. Um, thank you for joining us. I am uh, describing my style here for those who may watch this video later or who are new to my channel because of the fact that I'm asking for people to share my channel on social media, whether it be through Facebook, through uh, Instagram, or through their blogs, that sort of thing. Hi, Katie. How are you? <laughs> I hope you're well, Katie. Um, because what I'm, my goal is, of course, if you saw the title of this video, it's to reach the 3,000 subscriber mark. So to do that, I'm holding a little giveaway and i can't show everything just yet so this is kind of a little teaser if all goes as planned then it's going to be much better than you know just receiving the opportunity to get a a, a mini album at least in my opinion so um in any case i've got this and this is the one that i want to finish with you guys today so let me just show you since i'm jabbing gabbing I say the wrong words all the time guys so please forgive me in my in my edited videos I can edit what I say <laughs> if I mispronounce something or if I use the wrong word I can go back and listen to them and go oh that's not how you say <laughs> oh wonderful Katie yes I saw your tapestries on Facebook and they're so lovely so um, I will go back and take a look at that one as well I think I saw another recent one that you made and it was so so cute so yeah keep working hard on those Katie that we all enjoy them um, so back to the little album here I used I want to show you what I used okay so because I can get off track so I want to make sure that I do that first this is what I've used here. Um, this is called uh, Autumn Chill by DCWV. And if you're not familiar with these papers, I don't know actually when these were released. I have a tendency to buy paper and then you know how it goes. Uh, sometimes it's out of sight, out of mind. And then you run into it again and go, ooh la la, I wanna use that. <laughs> so this is double-sided paper. It's absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. Now you do see in here there are some really dark browns, dark greens, and all that. But there are also these pastels. Um, if you see here the light greens and the peach and that. Um, so that's what I limited myself to was that I, I went with the lighter colors in the collection. And I wanted, of course, to do the... Um, the mini album in these colors so that if when you receive it you can just plug in your fall pictures that you take and not have to worry about it so I'm going to set this aside and I'm gonna be moving in slow motion so I do apologize I do have an injury and that's why I can't move fast <laughs> but here's the cover and this little piece here is a tree of life um atc card 
um, cover, if you will. And this is from Rene Bouquet's. I have not colored it and I don't think that I will. I want to leave it like that so that it's a monochromatic cover. And this little mini album is just a chunky, see that? Chunky Monkey little mini album and I'm almost done with it. But I wanted to show you, I might put a pearl here or something of course, I want to finish that. Thank you, Bonnie. Yes, I'm, I'm doing therapy, so God willing, I will be better much sooner than expected. So, And I'm just happy that I didn't require surgery, so I, I have no complaints, you know. Um, and crafting helps, you know, well, it doesn't help my back, <laughs> which is what's injured, but it helps take the mind away from the pain, of course, too. So that's a, it's a blessing. Um, so this um, lace that you see here, I have a tendency to say ribbon, but it's not ribbon. Let me show you what this looks like. Because this is from Renee Bouquet's, and it looks like this. And I think it's absolutely darling. It's very, very, oh wait, this side, okay. So you see how beautiful that is? It's embroidered um, or brocade, however you want to call that. So that's from Renee Bouquet's, and I've used it here on the cover, and I've used it on the back, if you see there. It looks like it's peeking out. And then I've used a trim from Michaels on the edges here because it had the green and gold and ivory. And then this ivory lace here is also from Rene Bouquet's. And I also used fabric. So if you see, the, this is a really um, soft, velvety peach fabric. That's what I used on the spine. And this is a two and a quarter inch spine if you need references to how big this is. And I, I'm aware it's a very small album, but as I mentioned before, this will not be the only item that I'll be giving away. Um, but here's the front page, and here's what I've done is that I've used another piece here of Renee Bouquet lace. It's absolutely adorable. I just, I love flowers and I love this pattern here. And I just thought that that was gorgeous. So I used the dies from this collection that I mentioned before. It's a designer's uh, studios collection. Let me see, designer's choice, sorry. <laughs> designer's choice, I couldn't think of it. From Tonic Studios. And that's how I've made all of the pages inside and I've used little magnets and I've tried to make it interactive. That die set comes with this little tag here that says, it's very subtle, but it does say pull me. And I thought that was hilarious. Um, so I made little tags and this one goes here. This one also has this little frame that I just used uh, the, from the paper collection. I just cut that out and then fussy cut this banner that says give thanks always and then added this floral motif here. This was another uh, Tonic Studios die that it cuts into the page but then I cut out most of it um, and then added it there just for detail. And then here, this is the front page. I also used another die to cut into this page here. And this is what I love about these dies is that they have all this detail. So here's another die here that I cut out and used. And you'll see this flourish throughout. I added the bow and then behind this, see how it's cut out of that top paper? Behind that I placed some vellum. And I love neutrals, so this is just right up my alley. And that vellum, just to let you know, is in this color here. I've used it before and I just really like it. And this is from Hobby Lobby. So this is the one that, that you'll see in this book. Then I put little tabs on every single page and they're these itty bitty tabs. They all came also with the same die collection. And all of the pages open like this. So you see how cute that is? I mean, it's very simple in my opinion. It's not over the top, but you have room for journaling and then you're gonna have room to place a picture and they're all gonna look the same like that with the little, you know, um, pattern paper on the back. And then this is heavy cardstock. So that way you feel safe placing a picture there. Oh yes, Katie, it has been. And you know what? It's still holding strong. My mother still has it, so I do appreciate that. Um, and it's great to know that you're still working on those too. I think that's wonderful. So let's move on to the next page here. 
I repeated, or actually, this is the same page, so just to let you know. So this is just one signature here. And then on this side, I did another little tag, again, using the same paper collection. Look at the back. I think that's so beautiful. And then the same flourish that you saw in the front. Here I did add little gems and then layered the paper. And that's all part of this one signature there. So I, there, there is a total of four signatures in this little book. I, of course, I mean, I could have kept going, but then the spine would have been huge. And I think that, you know, relative to the size of the pages, I didn't want to make it too big. So this page here has also little flowers that I made. And these I just made using some other dies from my stash, but the little ones are Tonic Studios dies, the ones in the center, those little flowers. And then I added this beautiful board piece here that I topped off with, uh, let me show you. It is called Harvest Moon, and this is glitter accents from Tonic Studios. I just got these recently in a haul that I did so I wanted to try them out and this is the texture there it's kind of that coppery finish which is a little bit dark but I think it plays well with everything else because it is a fall theme little mini album so behind here I'm probably going to just adhere this down so that it stays put and like I said I've still got to put some finishing touches to this so this is what I was going to do next was this page here with my little frame which is right here and as you can tell I've also put washi tape on the frames and these if you're not familiar with them these are from the keepsake bookmaker photos and film strips die set so basically they fold like so and these are really cute because you can add tiny little pictures to your books but then they still look nicely finished you know kind of like a professional look if you will because it's encased in this tiny little polaroid style uh cover so if you're not um familiar with my videos i do have another one where i show a very different style card that i made using these and i actually made shakers out of it so I thought that was a lot of fun too so I'm just going to go ahead since I'm here and I did say this is why I wanted to do the video was to go ahead and finish this with you guys here while I put this on this page I'm going to repeat what I'm asking for everyone to do for my giveaway now what I'm asking is that people um, are active subscribers or um, just um how do you say that that i can i can look you up and see that you are a subscriber so if you have um if you have your settings to private i can understand that and you can definitely send me an email with a screenshot showing me that you're an active subscriber i don't mind that whatsoever um because i i do uh i respect people's privacy so i don't have an issue with that and so if you're a subscriber you can enter if you have um, a social media account which if you have youtube then you have one then you can share my channel on your social media and that'll be a way to enter the giveaway i'm not asking that you send me anything because let's face it there are a lot of um different uh, giveaways and challenges going on right now and I don't want to burden anyone with having to send me anything because I uh, really, you know, to be quite honest, it's I don't have a need of anything. I, I'm kind of um, simple when it comes to creating my crafts. Um, maybe it, may, it might not come across that way, but I, I feel that I am. Um, so I'm not going to be asking anyone to, to mail anything in. It'll just be, you know, please share on social media. And then as soon as I hit that 3,000 mark, then I will come back with a video telling you a little bit more. And hopefully also the video will entail what else is involved in the giveaway. So as you can see here, this is all I'm doing is placing my double matting on these pages and then the die set also just to let you know cuts these little tabs i think i mentioned it before 
but I think they're so adorable. What I did was that I added them to these frames like this. And since this frame is going to go on this side, I think I'm going to put the little tab on this side as well. You like the photo frame die, Terry? Yes, I'll show you the entire die set in a moment. I don't know if you already own it, but just in case anyone wants to get this. Now, I also want to mention I do have affiliate links for Tonic Studios on my blog, which is paintsandglitter.com and also on all of my videos. So once this video goes live, of course, on YouTube, um, you know, once it uploads, then I'll be able to add those as well. But if these are still available, then I'll definitely be adding links so that you can go ahead and pick this up. But how cute is, I mean, it's so simple, but to me, this is just adorable because I don't think it has to be over the top for, for it to look good because what's gonna matter, of course, is the picture inside. Um, but I think this is also perfect for if you want to do pictures for separate family members on one particular occasion, then you can have each page for each family member. Um, and of course you can add more. Uh, thank you. Thank you, ladies. It's fun to make. I, as you can tell, this is very simple. It's just a matter of cutting everything out at once. So if you, if you're new to crafting, which I don't think any of you guys are, um, but correct, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you're new to crafting, this is one thing I've discovered is that once you get the gist of what you want to make, um, if you can get yourself, <laughs> if you can have the discipline to cut everything out all at once, it's going to save you a lot of time. Uh, I'm not that disciplined and I'm going to be completely honest. It depends on the project, but I do find that when I do that and I stick to those rules, I am way more efficient. So I need to learn from my own advice, right? Okay. So that little guy's going to go right there and see, there it is. And of course, if I keep working on this and find that I need to add a gem here or there, <laughs> I will not shy away from it, but there's that page. Here's our next little pocket here. Oh, and I said I was going to show you the the dies for that. So let me go ahead and show you. This is the Keepsake Bookmaker Photos and Film Strip die set. This is what I'm using for those pages. And as you can see, you can add so many other sentiments and everything to this. And it also has that film strip, which I absolutely love using. Um, but this little book is just kind of cutesy and simple, so I am going to try to sit down, guys, because I have been standing. I'm going to give it a try and see if my back can tolerate it. Um, oh, and those of you who are prayer people, <laughs> say a prayer for my back. I want to make sure I'm in frame here. Let's see. Here we go. So, oh, wow. Yes, Bonnie, so you can relate. Oh, sweetie, I, I can't even imagine. I'm doing therapy for it, and it's working. It's helping out, but as you already know, it is a process. It's not a, you know, it's not going to be something that goes away immediately, and of course, all of this working in front of co computers aggravates it. So you can imagine, and you already know this, Bonnie, the challenge of having to walk away when you're inspired and you're working on something and you really just want to sit and finish it but sadly it has slowed my production down tremendously I can't but I'm trying not to think about that I'm trying thank you so much thank you Bonnie and I'll do the same you know um, I do believe in prayer and oh goodness if it weren't for that I don't know how I would get through most of my days to be honest so I'm just going to put this here. Now this, let me show you guys, these little bitty pieces here, I, I am a detail hound. <laughs> so when I see something that has a lot of tiny details, oh gosh, I was off frame. Sorry guys. When I see, here it is. This is what I was doing just now. I apologize guys. I didn't realize. I feel like I need a button that'll zap me. Um, thank you, Heidi. Um, Anything that's a tiny little detail, 
I love using because I feel like it just brings out everything else. I don't know why, but here's what this die set is like. It has um, these little tabs here. And so, let me make sure I'm in frame. You have the option of using the tiny little tab or this other one that I just was putting together. It has three different kinds of photo corners and two different styles of pages, if you will. So I use the scalloped one, as you can tell, for this little book. But it was my first time making a mini album with it. And... Oh... Oh yes, Bonnie, I am definitely, I'm taking a proactive approach on this um, because I want to make sure that I'm the one dictating how this is going to all end up. <laughs> to the best of my ability, that is. So yeah, I'm, I've made a lot of changes to ensure that my health gets better and that, you know, that if this is something that's going to be ongoing for me, that I, at least I can... Uh, get stronger so that if pain is going to be part of my lifestyle that I can endure it a little bit better, you know. So this is the next page and as you can see here, I want to show you something because I just thought this came out so cute and I get excited about little details like this. So these little petals, if I can push them, well anyway, they do pop out and let me see if I'm in frame. I want to make sure I am. So those are three dimensional. This was done with another die set from Tonic Studios. It was the designer's choice die set from last month, or I should say July, because I cannot believe it's September. <laughs> I cannot believe it, guys. But see that? And so I backed it up with gold paper and then put the little gems right in the center. And then this gorgeous little butterfly is from Renee Bouquet's. Then I added the lightest blue ribbon here and again that little flourish and I'll probably put, add like little pearls and that sort of thing on top there. Um, and by the way this little ivy here which you'll see throughout is also from Renee Bouquets. I've used that with uh, another project that I did. The Actually the latest Renee Bouquets project that I did I used the frame that has all of those little ivy. Uh, leaves and I just thought it was gorgeous. So here's my next little signature and this is going to open like so. And as you can tell that paper collection is really neat because you can do um, a recipe book with it. So if time permits someday <laughs> hopefully I get to make one. Um, right now I'm gathering a lot of different recipes because I'm eating differently and so it, uh, you know, it's beneficial to do that, to write them down and then refer to them. I cook kind of off the cuff. Um, I'm just as creative in the kitchen as I am in my scrapbook room or, you know, studio or whatever you want to call it. So it's difficult for me to, to uh, then refer to what I've made, which is a shame because sometimes when you cook like that, you can make something that tastes amazing and then you're like, oh, I wish I could remember what I did. <laughs> I don't know if I'm the only person that does that, but it happens to me all the time. All right, so this this time I'm placing the journaling spot here on this side. I think I did the opposite. No, I did the same. Oopsie. I wanted to alternate them, but I got talking and forgot. So whoever receives it, I hope you can forgive me. <laughs> I wish I could tear it off, but I know that I'll ruin the book. So at least you know there's no perfection going on here. I make mistakes all the time. Um, but that was going to be my next pointer, was alternate your photo spots on your books if they're small. But as you can tell, I did not do that. So I'm just going to put this one here. And this paper is not from the paper collection, but I thought it went really well with it. So that's why I decided to use it there, because I thought it was a nice neutral, but it does have those florals. I just think it's gorgeous. It, it's almost like an old wallpaper. Um, beet juice? Oh, Bonnie's drinking beet juice. I've never had beet... <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat just got dry! <laughs> I've never had beet juice, but I hear it's very healthy. Now, I will eat beets, but currently I cannot because they 
have such a high sugar content and when um when you have inflammation in your body uh sugar is not recommended but i don't know i don't know bonnie if you follow any type particular type of diet but um i imagine there are some benefits to it because it's a root vegetable so i'm gonna go ahead and make my next one here's this one here I did the same thing. I kind of tried to repeat that little pattern with, and this right here is just washi tape that has these little hearts, but it's in rose gold, and I thought it was so adorable. And I wanted, I love adding metallics to projects. So, I hope that you guys are interested in joining my challenge. I'm going, I'm curious to see how many people will. And I'm curious to see how many people will want to enter just for support or just to uh, to be able to enter into the giveaway. I think I'm going to put this on the inside. Uh, because this will not be the only prize, of course, as I mentioned before. But I'm going to move this for a second so you guys can see. I'm just putting the adhesive here. And... There we go. Yes, it is. You're right, Bonnie. If you're if you're going to do anything sweet, it's better that it be natural, 100% natural. I am in agreement with that. Um you just want to do a little bit, you know, I do recommend a little bit of research on how it it impacts your body. And of course, you don't I mean, by research, you can just write down how you felt a few hours after you drank it and see if it's worthwhile. Um, but, okay, so here's this little guy. I'm going to go ahead and repeat this again. And this one will go here. So I'm curious as to... Oh, thank you, Angela. This is going to be my uh, one of my giveaway uh, books for uh, to celebrate my 3,000 subscriber mark when I reach it. So I'm asking subscribers and people who visit my channel. Well, first of all, I'm asking that people subscribe if they haven't already done so. And I'm also asking that you share my channel on social media so that people know that I'm hosting this little challenge I'm not quite sure when it will end. This is all going to be contingent on a couple of things that are coming up. But I'm shooting for the first week of October. Um, so that I can give away this book that I'm working on. This is going to be one of the things, right? Um, so I should have the backing to this. <laughs> I'm going to look for it really quick. <laughs> Uh, if I don't find it, then hopefully when I do, I will add it. Oh, here. I think this is... Mm, maybe that's not it. Oh, well. We'll make it it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But thank you, Angela. I, I'll show you... I'll give you guys a another walkthrough when I'm done putting it together. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bonnie. I want... You know what? It is that, you know... Blech. I'm I'm thinking too fast for my mouth. I want to ensure that if you get something from me, <laughs> and this is just my type A personality, <laughs> that if you get something from me, that hopefully you're not compelled to throw it in the bin <laughs> the minute you get it home and go, eh, that wasn't <laughs> that wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. You know, I just that's just me. I'm a perfectionist at heart, and I can't help it. Um, but I've also, when I've made mini albums and shown them on uh, this channel, I've repeatedly mentioned that I'm hoping that when you make these things, that you make them out of love. And so that's what I, I hope you see that I do, I put my love into the things that I make. I don't make these just out of sheer, um, entertainment for myself. Because let's face it, there's a lot of different things that you can do to keep your hands busy. But I, I want you guys to feel that. If you receive something from me, I want you to say, wow, you know what? 
um, Raquel didn't skimp on this, you know, and of course my with my health being the way that it is right now it makes it a little bit difficult to continue um, going and going and going so I've had to pace myself but I'm hoping that I don't know that you feel something <laughs> whoever the winner is um, I agree Bonnie I agree if you if you make a project just because you have to get it done I don't I don't think the result is the same I really don't it's you know like people talk about losing their mojo I don't know who mojo is <laughs> but yeah you can lose your inspiration rather quickly oh gosh and I think it's in our nature that you know if you're forced to do something all of a sudden you're like well I don't want to <laughs> how's that <laughs> oh my gosh and pardon my sense of humor guys but that's just how I am I, you know, I hear phrases and I don't always, uh, don't always know what they mean. All right, so I'm again doing the same little tabs, and these little tags here are from the Mythical Glade collection. Um, if you're interested in that, and here's the little sentiment, the pull me. <laughs> I get, I'm easily amused, so I just thought that this was hysterical that it said that on there. It's like, wait, don't forget about me. Alright, so back here I'm going to go ahead and put this one. And I just love, love, love how this all comes together. And, pardon the noise of the glue. But this was actually quite easy also to put together once I put my mind to how it was going to look. And what I was going to use um, but just to remind you guys this does have a magnet inside um, they're not uber strong if you will of course now with the picture frame too but there is a little magnet inside each one of the pages um, and let's see oh Bonnie See now, I find the other the other way around is true for me. If if uh, if I'm in a crunch for time, well, actually, it depends on what it is. If sometimes the pressure of doing something quickly will make the results better, but it's not always the case. And and of course, it depends on who the couple is and all of that. Um, but there's that little tag, and here I want to show you. I did all I did was to put this little bow here I mean a little du double bow with some thin um, ribbon and then the added the little photo corners and here is the one page that took the longest <laughs> because I did uh, inlay piecing uh, paper piecing so I did cut out the die twice once out of that background and then I cut it out again out of the gold paper and then I laid in all of those little pieces for you so whoever wins this book I did this for you <laughs> and it took me a long time <laughs> so the string of little leaves are you re referring to this Bonnie these are beautiful board pieces if that's what you're referring to they are av available from Renee Bouquets so I think they're so pretty. I think they add a lot of character to your projects. And I question whether or not I should have added glitter to that one, but there it was and, you know, can't take it back now, but... <laughs> oh, Bonnie, thank you, thank you, thank you, Bonnie. <laughs> yes. Well, you know what, Bonnie, as a, right now, of course, filming this live video, you guys don't get to really see how um, my crafty journey, you know, how it takes place day to day. But normally, when I'm crafting, I'm listening to worship music. And I get so inspired. And, it, you know, my heart just goes to places that I, I can't even describe. But it is a beautiful thing because I think that any any talent is God-given. That's my personal opinion. 
Uh, anyone who talks to me for more than five minutes will know that about me. Um, and so, yeah, so in my studio, this is like a music studio slash slash art studio there's always music in the background always worship music always uplifting music the rest of the world disappears all the negativity all the anger all you know all those things that are happening in the world around us right which we seem to not be able to escape lately because it's it's so strong um i don't want any of that in my heart i don't want any of it in my mind and it's not that I want to be an escapist and don't want to know what's going on because that's not the case. Um, it's just that I don't want that to permeate my life. And so that's where crafting comes in for me. It's a way to have your self-expression and the things that you believe in and share them with other people, of course. And this is the result, you know, everything that I surround myself, that's the result. And when I see the creativity of other people, I feel the same way. I feel like there's a really deep connection that happens. Um, yes, Bonnie, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Even, even if you're not too familiar with, with, uh, you know, worship music. Even if it's just your first time you've ever even listened to it, I highly recommend it. If you want, actually, um, here's the another thing that I do is that um, my first language is Spanish. It's not actually not actually English, which is why I sometimes fumble with my words and it might sound funny to some people. Um, but I like to listen to to music in all different languages too. That's another thing that I really enjoy. Um, so that's the usual. My, my usual day consists of listening to all different languages, all different kinds of music, too. Um, and I, I really enjoy that. It's very uplifting and it's energizing. Um, and I'm always singing, too, which <laughs> thankfully you guys don't have to listen to it. But I do a lot of that, too. Uh, and I'm home with just my son. So he can tolerate it, you know. Of course, he probably wishes I had a mute button too, but um, he also likes to sing and dance, so I think we have that in common. Um, all right, so this is my last little frame and my last little tag here before um, I'm done, at least with this part of it. So again, I kind of goofed with the placement of the frame, so I'll have to put this on this side. But do you guys have any, um, oh, thank you, sweetie. Thank you so much. I can, pl I can share my, uh, this is why I was talking about that too, was I have it, I think I have it public on my YouTube channel, uh, on the tabs there. I think my worship collection that I listened to, if you will, if you want to call it that, I think it's set to public, so you could even take a peek at that and see okay what is it that Raquel's listening to <laughs> if you're curious um because I think it's um it's fun to share too you know and some of the music my gosh if you like to get up and dance in the middle of the day there's some of that in there too it's a lot of fun <laughs> so this is going to go on the back and of course, if you get a little album like this, you don't have to just put a picture in the front. You can um, you can definitely put a picture in the back as well. That's just um, <clears throat> an option. I was going to say an alternative, an, an option. So this one's going to go here. And you guys can see here, this is not rocket science by any means. Um, it's just fun. Oh, please do, Terry. You're going to see there's Hebrew music, there's Spanish music, there's Gypsy music, there's uh, English, all of it, you know? I just enjoy it all. Um, <clears throat> okay, so there's that one. And then at the end here, oh, I didn't show you guys this. So this is the last page. 
and I put a big old honking flower there <laughs> from Renee Bouquet's. This actually comes, let me see if I can show you the rest, because I have it in a little, this is how I keep it, but this is going to change. I'm going to, I'm going to change my method of keeping laces. Um, okay, so it comes like this. Isn't that adorable? And what I did, of course, as you can tell, I snipped one off and then I placed it there. Um, yes, Renee's laces are really adorable. And what I liked about this one is that it has that trio of flowers there. And then it has two layers of flowers, as you can tell there. And then I added the gears. Those are from her store. I added a moonstone bead in the center of each. And then on this one, I blinged it out with my little gems that I like to add because, you know, kind of stuck in the 80s a little bit. <laughs> the lacy flowers. Yes, they are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So, yeah. Do you think this should be included with the book? Um, as maybe like a little box or something? Do you guys think that would be a good idea? Or do you think it should be included just on the side as part of the giveaway? What do you think? Yes, yes, yes. All right, Bonnie. Okay. I think we can handle that. I think we can do that. Be, make it part of the giveaway. So what I'll do is I'll make like a, maybe a little box or something or a little envelope. And then I'll add this to the giveaway as well. Okay. No problem there. I'm just going to make sure that I set it aside so that I don't uh, accidentally use it. So I'll stick it in here for now. These were just some little cutter parts from the collection. So I'll put it here and then what I'll do is I'll try to make it pretty, you know, um, so that it's not too, too plain. And I'll put, let's see, I don't have any... Um, I need to write something on here. Goodness gracious, with all the paper the woman's got in the in the room, you would think she could find something to write. <laughs> something to write on. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> uh, ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's see here. This is the story of my life. I never have a pen. <laughs> All right, so that'll be part of the giveaway. And that, this way I don't forget. Well, let me just do this. Um, okay, because if we have the tools, we may as well use them. <laughs> Three hours later, she staples a piece of paper. Oh, gosh. Okay, here we go. So I will add this to it. Um... And so this is the, uh, I'm going to call it mm, sort of finish. Actually, no, I wanted to add these little butterflies. Look what I made. I made these itty bitty little butterflies. So I made these to go on the cover because I wanted something really delicate, but with kind of a sparkle. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, three, <laughs> three tons of paper in the house, but never anything to write on. Oh gosh. It's, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put these on here. I do have my glue gun available. Okay, so I'm just going to put, I wanted to put this one here in the center. Because you need a little shine in your life. Got to let your light shine, ladies. So I'm going to put these here. See, I was debating on this, this whole corner corner thing, but I think if it's there, it's going to get ruined. So I'm going to put it over here instead. And just to let you know, this is a piece of gold. Let me show you. Gold cardstock, in case you're curious. This really nice thick cardstock. A piece of vellum that looks like that from Hobby Lobby. And then another piece of gold cardstock from DCWV. I don't know where the rest of it is. But then I'm, let me show you the punches that I used. And you're not going to believe this. So what I used was this punch here from EK Success. I used that little butterfly there, so it's this one. And then I used, <laughs> this is a dinosaur, so get ready for this one. 
I use this one here. I need to stand up again. Uh, so do you guys recognize this here? Those of you who have been crafting for 20 years. <laughs> um, this is creative memories, if you can believe that. I'm gonna make I'm gonna double check something really quick, guys. My here we go. I apologize. I had to step away for a second because I did not realize that my iPad was about to die. It was not plugged in. So this is from Creative Memories. And it's that tiny little butterfly there. That's the other one that I used. So I was just cleaning off the, the glue here. So that's how I made those bitty butterflies. I can't believe I still own that punch, but I mean, I think it's so cute. So I'm going to go ahead and add that one down here, I think. Or do you guys think it needs it? What do you guys think? Should I leave it off or should I add it? I'm taking a vote. I'm actually just seeing who's still awake. <laughs> Yes, I'm glad that I kept it too. You know, it's funny how um, those punches hurt my hands like crazy, but I just couldn't part with that one because of that little butterfly. You think one is good? Terry, I think I'm with you. I, I think I'm in agreement with that. Now, I might go... Um, yeah, Bonnie, the thing is, if I put it over here, when you go to open the book, you know what's going to happen, right? It's going to go crunch, crunch, and then that poor little butterfly is not going to have a good life. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm better off leaving it off so what I'll do is and this is what I can't do on camera is the Nouveau drops to make it sparkle because they do take a while to dry but let's do the walk through you got a tag tag here uh, lace little page with a bow and page one spread with the little pocket there thingy and another little tag there says hello um this one here with a tag here or the i'm sorry picture up here and of course if you wanted to you could definitely add pictures on the opposite side and do your journaling on this side and just write the date there's no reason why you would have to put the picture here so once you get the book of course you use it as you like and then, of course, the little tag here it says always so fun. And then this one here with the little butterfly. And this one again, same idea there. Thank you so much, Night Angel. This one, like so. And the bling, bling, bling page. <laughs> that opens like that and the last little tag that's oh I forgot to do this one why did I forget that sorry guys I've been talking too much so again I am going to um, what I'll do is when I when I do the video showing you guys what else is involved in this then that's likely when I'm going to say the um, the end date of the giveaway however it's going to be um you're going to want to keep checking back on the channel is what i'm going to suggest because if i hit that 3000 subscriber mark um and then it happens to be like a friday or something like that then what i'll do is that i'm going to look at the comments for this video or any future videos where I mention the giveaway and I'll see who shared who shared my channel because you guys can come back and let me know on the comments that's what I would like for you to do just let me know I shared your video either this video or any upcoming video having to do with the giveaway you can let me know I shared your video and leave me your link so that I can verify that and of course you have to be a subscriber then I will pick a winner and the winner is going to get this mini album and the flowers as Bonnie suggested so thank you for the suggestion Bonnie and I'll try to package that nicely 
I have to, however, limit this to the U.S. Uh, and U.S. territories, guys. And I do apologize. I should have mentioned that at the beginning. Because of shipping, um, if I were to ship something like this, and I've already looked into it, the value of, or the cost of shipping would probably be higher than the value of what I'm sending you. So it's um, it's kind of not... It isn't sensible, I don't think. But I'm going to say as of now that this will be available. You can enter up until the end of this month, which is the end of September. And that'll give you guys plenty of time. And of course, that is subject to change depending on how quickly I may reach that subscriber mark and I know that I'm not that far away from it but life happens so I don't want to make the assumption that it's going to happen very quickly either okay so that oh you know what guys I guess I'm gonna to have to put this in like this I didn't realize this was gonna be over here but there it is that's the last one and that's okay I think it doesn't say pull me, but if you see something peeking out, you're going to do it anyway. <laughs> so there it is. That's the end of that little book. But I, I am so glad that you guys have joined me today. And I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video, the, the album. If you have any questions for me, feel free to ask me now. <laughs> Please ask me now. Um, because I just want to make it sure you know and um <clears throat> what did i say i want to make it sure i want to make it clear oh my gosh i want to make it clear what it is that i'm doing here oh thank you rosa thank you thank you i know you make spectacular mini albums rosa so this is for my i'm challenging people to share my channel to try 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 to get to 3000 subscribers so Thank you. Thank you, Bonnie. So, Rosa, I don't know if you got to see the entire little book, but it's uh, it's just a cutesy little album. And I'm just asking that people help my channel grow to the 3,000 subscriber mark. Thank you, Rosa. And then those of you who do, what I'll do is I'll enter you to win this little book. And then the little flowers, as we mentioned before. So that'll be part of the giveaway. And if I, for some reason, have a huge, you know, go from 3,000 to 3,000, I don't know, 500 or something like that by the end of the month, then I will give away another book. So how's that? <laughs> and the other one is actually bigger. So I don't know. Maybe you guys can help me get to, I don't know, three thousand four thousand i don't know whatever happens but by the end of this month um yes that's why i made this book i put all my my heart in here it's it's a little packet of love <laughs> i'm not going to keep it as tempted as i am but it's a mini mini so this isn't very big and let me show you the it's a two and a quarter inch spine and then the little you know you can see here the little pages the the um what do you call these frames they're small they're not very big this is for tiny little pictures and let me see if i can fit this in here so yeah it's like two and a quarter inch squares for these little guys but then of course as i mentioned before you can put your pictures here on all of the pages and then just do your little journaling here and then that way you're not limited and of course if you have pictures where you want to cut off half the picture or something like that, you can put them on the little tags too. Don't forget, you can always do that. So that's what's great about the mini albums is once they're in your hands, you dictate <laughs> how the book is going to be used. But I'm doing a, the, uh, the next little walkthrough here in case you're just coming in. But we're here an hour already and I don't want to take up more of your time. Um, thank you, Ines. Thank you for joining us. So, yes, please, 
Um, the colors, Rosa, these are from DCWV, and it is a fall collection. It's called, what did I say it was called? Let me show you really quick. It's called Autumn Chill, and I love DCWV papers because they are so gorgeous. Always top of the line stuff, you know? Um, and I love the, the muted colors for fall also. I thought this was so nice to be able to do more of a pastel kind of, you know, palette. And, um... Oh, you're very, very welcome. Very welcome. And also the dies, if you didn't see earlier, it's this Designer's Choice die set from Tonic Studios. The other dies were the Keepsake Bookmaker dies. That's how I made the little frames. I also use some other dies for like this inlay piece here. These little flowers, another inlay page there, more flowers. So those are other dies that I have in my collection, but I didn't think it was, you know, too important. But if you are curious, let me know. I'm happy to let you know which ones they are. Um, okay, so please share the video. Leave me a comment letting me know uh, once this goes up on my YouTube channel that you did share it and where. Um... Thank you, Terry. God bless you also. Thank you, thank you. And like I said, by the end of September, if I've reached the 3,000 mark, this will be given away with the flowers. If I somehow, astronomically, by some act of miracle <laughs> from up above, hit a, a, an even bigger mark that I think is substantial, then I'll give away another album and it's going to be even bigger than this one. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video, that you've enjoyed just spending some time with me. I truly value your opinions and all, all that you have to say about the things that I make because it does matter to me. I hope I never come across as, you know, someone who's aloof and not, you know, with it. <laughs> But I know that it's because of you guys that I get to make these videos and I truly, truly appreciate it. I will also have affiliate links for anything that you see here. Um, sadly, I cannot... Oh, thank you. I can't have affiliate links for this particular die set because these are limited for one month only on Tonic Studios and that was from last month. Otherwise, I would, I would gladly share that. But stay tuned because... This may not be the only thing that I'm giving away. So, <laughs> hint, hint. All right, guys? Um, yes, big hugs to you also. Thank you so much for your support. I love you guys, and I hope you can always be inspired and be blessed. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.